Hi everyone, it's Joachim here. So we're going to look at the, the cap table mon modeling template today, which we built here at Elite Game Developers. With this template, you can build your own cap table and model out what it's going to look like once you bring in investors into your, into your company. So here we look at the cap table tab, which shows off what's going on at the different stages of fundraising. So I've created these yellow uh, cells, which you can edit. You shouldn't touch the other ones, but here you can basically manage how many, how many shares you have for each of the founders and what does your option pool look like. So if you only have two founders, you can just put A and B founders with the shares, but you also need to think about the, the, the employee share option pool already a bit before you start raising because you want to have shares for people who join in the company later on. But here you can see at the different stages what it looks like. You're creating new shares for investors that come in at the later stages. With these other tabs, you can uh, figure out what's going on, for instance, with with your different investors who, who come in here at the pre-seed stage. I've added uh, six different rows there for investors where you can look at how much money they're putting in, which are the yellow cells. And above those, you can see the pre-money valuation. What is your company's pre-money valuation? So I put 1 million here and you're raising 250,000. So you want to have the numbers below to match. The total should match the amount raised. If you go here and edit these cells, let's say I'll take a bit away from here, you're going to see an error message come up, which says that you're actually uh, putting in the wrong numbers. So you need to fix that the total invested and the amount raised aren't matching. So let's just fix it here. And now, now it's fine. So here you can see that you're creating new shares and new investors will own 20% of the company. So, and it goes on and on. You can build the same thing for the seed round and for a series A round. And you can play around with this a bit. Like, uh, let's say you do two small pre-seed rounds and then a seed round. You can just use uh, the pre-seed round tab as the first pre-seed round and then the second pre-seed round can be used here in the seed round. So what I suggest to you is get a copy of this template because you cannot edit this directly. This is our version of the template, which we will be updating time to time and you'll get notified when new versions come up. So to, to get updated, please sign up to the newsletter.